Over millions of years, humans have been adapting to our ever-changing world by developing various characteristics that have come to define our species today. These include bigger brains, walking upright, tool-making, and good old social networking. Contrary to what some scientists believe, we are still evolving as we speak, in more ways than one. Different environmental conditions and demands in natural selection will help to determine how humans evolve in the future. In other words, it all comes down to what will help us get laid and live the longest. Here are some interesting theories. But first, let's give a hand to one of evolution's most important gifts to mankind, the thumb. If not for this remarkable little digit, using your smartphone with one hand to swipe right, take selfies, text, and more importantly, hit the subscribe button, would not be possible. Mono ethnicity. With increased globalization leading to more mixed race couples, we could eventually have one single ethnic group dominate the entire world. The theory is that as different cultures continue to <clears throat> have relations, people will start losing the main distinguishing features of their ethnicity and take on characteristics from different cultures in the world. Racial differences will blend together until we have the same color skin. However, the process of cross-mixing isn't so black and white. There are a wide variety of genes responsible for our many distinctive traits. In fact, as many as 100 different genes for human skin color alone. So what is more likely to happen is the emergence of an even more colorful palette of skin tones versus just one nationality painted with the same brush. Grow taller. Society has always seemed to favor the vertically inclined, going as far as imposing height requirements for certain activities and careers, like riding a roller coaster or a water slide. And if you want any shot at being a runway model, flight attendant, or even a basketball player, you better make sure you're eating your vegetables from a young age so you grow tall enough. Most geneticists believe that good childhood nutrition is the reason we're taller than our ancestors. Over the last 150 years, the size of the modern human has increased about four inches. So as long as our children remain well-fed, our species will continue to grow taller. Will there be a certain limit to how big we'll get? Or will biology allow us to rise to mythical proportions? It remains to be seen. Women will be shorter and chubbier. Sorry to crush your runway model dreams, ladies, but contrary to the previous theory, it appears that the male population will be the only ones increasing in height. Females, on the other hand, will apparently be shorter and fatter, according to research from Yale University. The findings are from the Framingham Heart Study, a survey started in 1948 that collected medical information from over 5,000 subjects and monitored them and their offspring for 60 years. The shorter, slightly plumper women in the study had more children and passed these physical traits onto their offspring. The same women tended to have kids earlier in life and had lower blood pressure and cholesterol. These effects of natural selection would be slow and gradual, of course, estimating that by 2,409, women would be two centimeters shorter and one kilogram heavier. Genetic engineering. Imagine one day being able to buy your baby from a catalog or going into a store and choosing all of the traits that you'd like when customizing a new vehicle. Fully loaded, tall, dark, handsome, and powerful, or the class-leading economy model, blonde hair, green eyes, and innovative with an IQ of 160. Deciding what our children will look like and be like before they are born could be our future. The science behind genetic engineering already exists, although it's still in its infancy. Over time, scientists may uncover genes underlying intelligence, health, athletic prowess, and longevity. And gene selection could quickly lead to a boom in these designer babies. That means that the traits you find undesirable, like your family nose or male pattern baldness, could eventually be completely extinguished from your gene pool. Bigger eyes. Many scientists believe human colonization of the solar system is inevitable, especially considering the rate that we're exhausting our planet's limited resources. There are already plans underway to colonize Mars within the next decade, which means we could all be changing our citizenship to Martian a lot sooner than we ever imagined. Even start looking like Martians too. No, not the handsome Matt Damon type Martians, the other ones with the bulbous heads and the bulging eyes. Scientists say humans that leave the familiarity of Earth could morph into a separate species in order to adapt to their new environment. They predict that eyes specifically will become very large and blink sideways to protect from cosmic rays and that will develop enhanced low light vision to be able to survive in dimmer environments. Just what millennials have always wanted, to walk around like a real life Snapchat filter. Smaller brains. You might find this hard to believe, but as smart as the human race has become, our brains are actually shrinking. In fact, the brain has been decreasing in size for 200,000 years. 
Over this time, we've lost about 10% of our noodles, which is equal to the size of a tennis ball. Scientists believe that the easier our lives become, the smaller our brains will be. But this doesn't mean we'll all be walking around wearing dunce caps. A smaller brain actually works more efficiently than a larger one, because the signals firing around in it have a shorter distance to travel. There's also a theory that smaller brains could make us less aggressive, allowing us to work together to solve problems in peace and harmony. So the good news is that we won't be needing anger management classes or additional math classes, but the bad news is we'll have to buy all new hats and sunglasses to fit our teeny tiny heads. Muscle atrophy. Science poses two theories as to why our bodies might weaken over time. The first is one of those if you don't use it, you lose it scenarios. Our increasing reliance on technology, in particular machinery, to do our heavy lifting for us means we aren't relying on our muscles as much. The less we depend on physical strength, the more likely our muscles will start to deteriorate and humans in general will become physically weak. So although shopping from home in your underwear and having a drone deliver a carton of milk to your doorstep sounds convenient, laziness does not do a body good. The second explanation has to do with inhabiting space. Since there is very little gravity in space, physical strength isn't really necessary for daily activities. So the longer we spend exploring other planets and living out our Star Wars fantasies, the higher probability that we'd eventually lose most of our muscle mass. Weaker immune systems. It turns out that the best way to give our kids' immune systems a healthy start is to let them eat dirt. Obviously, we don't mean grabbing a spoonful of soil from the garden and sprinkling it on their mac and cheese, but allowing our kids to be exposed to some bacteria and allergens is actually good for their immune system to help fight off infections. But due to over-sanitizing lifestyles and relying so much on medication, our bodies are starting to lose the ability to fight off infections effectively. What this means for future generations is that they'll have much weaker immune systems and the smallest thing could potentially kill them like a paper cut. Imagine being taken out by a three-hole punchline paper. Selective hearing. I think many women in relationships would argue that men already have the ability to hear only what they want to, like sleeping through their baby's cries in the middle of the night or tuning out their partner when she tries to talk about her feelings. Women may call this type of selective hearing ignorant, but science has coined it the cocktail party effect. Humans have the remarkable ability to focus on a single conversation in virtually any environment, even if that person's voice is drowned out by other noises or voices nearby. This is all done in the brain, but as we evolve, we could develop a mechanism in our ears to shut out unwanted sounds, just like how we can close our eyes to avoid an unpleasant sight. Being able to actively tune out things could prove to be valuable in this social media age of keyboard warriors and oversharers. How humans are likely to evolve, only time will tell. We hope you enjoyed this video. We're always evolving at the Hub to bring you the most interesting facts about the world. So make sure you subscribe and give us an opposable thumbs up while you're at it. See you next time.